today I'm going to be showing you something exciting, and it's how to install the Cosmic Rust desktop environment on Fedora, the latest Fedora. This is Fedora 41 running Cosmic. It's quite exciting because it's working very well. You can use much of the desktop environment today on your Fedora Linux distribution. So we're going to be checking out how to install this because it's actually very easy. Special shout out and thanks to Ryan for this one because now us Fedora users can check out what all the hype is behind the Cosmic desktop environment. Anyways, let's begin. And I'm going to also share a very special proposal towards the end of the video between Cosmic and Fedora. You won't want to miss that one. So stick around for that. First off, after you finish downloading Fedora Workstation 41, or if you already have it on your system, we're going to launch it and install a few things. I do want to make note that the Cosmic Rust desktop environment is actually available on many distributions right now, including Fedora, NixOS, Arch, OpenSUSE, Serpent OS, Redox OS, and Catchy OS, all with instructions directly shown by the System76 team in the latest blog post, which is fantastic. And the reason we can install Cosmic is because it's part of the Fedora packages. It's a whole package group that's available now. And the maintainer, Ryan, has been doing a fantastic job even giving us up-to-date nightly builds. We're not going to be installing the nightly build, but we will be installing the latest stable build. We can see here, Ryan ABX has supplied us with Cosmic Epic. And here are all the project packages that are available. So we get access to things like the applets, the compositor, the desktop, including things like the greeter, launcher, screenshot tool settings, and even the store, which is all fantastic. There are instructions on how to do this under the Fedora Copra website, and I'm going to leave a link in the description below in case you want to run through these commands by copying and pasting them. But I'm going to be showing you how to do this here in just a moment because it's super easy. All right, so here's a brand new installed version of Fedora 41, completely clean. And here's me just starting it up right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the top left corner and just type in terminal. That way I can launch one. And with the terminal launched, I can install the latest tag release, which is just the latest stable release. Now, one thing you should know is that we're only currently in alpha four of the Cosmic desktop environment. So don't think that it's a fully fledged and perfectly working desktop environment if you're new to it, but do understand that you can test some of the latest and greatest development like this. This is an officially supported package group in Fedora, so we can use DNF directly to install this. No extra repositories, well, sort of. It'll tie things together, but we can use DNF space install space, and then we put an at symbol and we type in cosmic desktop environment. And that's really it. You press enter and it's going to say you need super privileges to do this. Forgot the sudo in front. So we'll do sudo DNF install. And then again, just going to exit out of here. Don't need updates at cosmic desktop environment. All right. Pressing enter this time. Now we have to put in our password in order to install this, put in your administrator user's password. It's going to start installing things by first updating repositories, and then it's going to tell you all the things that it needs in order to run Cosmic. What's nice about this is you can have it alongside whatever current desktop environment that you have. What will happen is when you are when you get to the greeter, which is just the login screen for Fedora, you can actually select in the settings cog which one you want to run, and you'll have the Cosmic desktop environment available to you. So it's going to install 207 packages and upgrade a few. If we want to do this, it says the total inbound packages have 457 megabytes. So you're going to need at least this much and up to a gig will be used in extra installation. So if you're okay with that, you just type in Y. You must type in Y because the default is N, which means no. So type in lowercase Y, press enter, and that will begin the install here. There's 230 things it has to process and go through here for the installation. So it might take a few minutes depending on your internet connection. Mine's pretty great, so it shouldn't take long at all here. I'm almost done processing the 230 in the time that I've been speaking. After that, the installation actually begins. So this is gonna take some more time as well. It's got 256 things that it needs to go through, verify and install. So be patient, give it a few minutes. This now depends on how fast your computer operates. Okay, if everything installed properly, you're gonna see this complete message at the very end. And now you're ready to reboot. It's important to reboot in order to make sure that everything is set up correctly. So I'm just gonna do sudo reboot and then make sure you don't log in right away. Wait at the greeter screen so we can select the proper desktop environment. All right, back at the greeter screen, I can see my user. So I click on my user and now notice the cog at the bottom right. There is Cosmic, Gnome and Gnome Classic. We want Cosmic to load. So I'm gonna simply type in my password again to enter in for the user and I should be greeted and loaded into the Cosmic desktop experience. Let's give it a moment. And would you look at that? If you made it this far, make sure to smash that like button as we're gonna go through the Cosmic desktop environment here on Fedora 41. 
This is really exciting as this is a next generation desktop environment that's built by System76 and it is an awesome experience. Now Fedora users can give this a shot and try it out alongside their main desktop experience. Also, if you like videos like this, make sure to subscribe below so you follow along for more. Installing this was very simple. And again, thanks to Ryan for making it so simple for us. If we go up to the top, we can get, we can get the power menu, as well as the notifications bar, our wired or wireless connection, volume control, tile and floating windows, and then what keyboard we have. Everything looks very much like what you would find in Pop! OS, but what I find here in Fedora is it actually feels even snappier. I mean, look at me just going through these icons. Everything almost loads instantly. I don't know if that's missing an animation or something. The desktop environment feels faster on Fedora than it does on Pop! OS, which is interesting. Anyways, over here we have applications and we can look at all the applications that come standard with the Cosmic desktop experience, including the Cosmic Terminal, Cosmic Store, files, and much more. Let's check out a couple, including the Cosmic Store to see if we can actually use it here. Looks like we can install this. And I just wanna see if it's at the latest and greatest. If I hit install, I should get something here at the bottom. And sure enough, I do, which I have this details location. Fantastic, I can dismiss the message, but I really can't stop the install now. It's a little lacking here in the fact of controlling things after you've started them. Anyways, that's for a different video. I'm just gonna exit out of the store for now. And it says in the background installation, is in progress. We can also launch a terminal. The terminal is great as well. It looks much like you would find. If you want an in-depth look at the Cosmic Desktop environment, check out my latest video about Cosmic Desktop Alpha 4 version, where I go into things that are updated in depth. That way you can get the most out of this desktop environment and start using it today. Definitely take some time and test these things out, including the tiled window mode, which is an absolutely amazing experience that you will want to try out. Not only that, try and use the floating window view because this thing works amazing as well. You can float windows around, put them on top of each other. It just makes for a really cool experience as well. All great developments by the System76 team. Thanks so much for working on this desktop. And now to the awesome proposal and change here in Fedora. The new idea here is a proposed change to Fedora Linux in order to add a cosmic spin. That's right, there's already talks about trying to add the Cosmic Desktop environment as an official Fedora spin. This has been submitted actually by Ryan and Neil and is very exciting as it is a brand new update here posted on December 12th. It will be targeted for the release of Fedora Linux 42. And you might be asking yourself, how could they make a spin for Fedora 42 if it's not a full-fledged released desktop environment by then? Well. The claim here, the Cosmic Desktop Environment is a new Rust-based desktop environment developed by System76, makers of Pop! OS. The desktop environment is set to reach maturity in the first quarter of 2025. That's right, they are claiming that this will get its first release in the first quarter of 2025. That means within the first three months, and my guess was that it would be released in March as well, so that seems a track. Cosmic has many unique features, such as hybrid per workspace, window tiling management, window stacks with tabs to switch between windows and robust customization features that integrate with GTK and later on Qt. This is fantastic as they claim benefits of Fedora is going to be a new great quality desktop experience for Fedora users. And then it goes into the proposals for the change and how to test this change. Let me know what you think about this proposal for a new Fedora Cosmic Spin. And also let me know if you successfully installed the Cosmic Desktop Environment on your particular Fedora distribution. Love to hear from you. If you made it this far, please don't forget to hit that like button as this video gets out to more people that way. And subscribe below. You clearly like videos like this, so you wouldn't want to miss one in the future. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching. Linux can be hard to understand, but I take the most commonly used terms, commands, and subjects in Linux and I break them down into simple to read documents, including Linux terms, flashcards, a checklist, a cheat sheet, and a mind map. And if you're ready to level up your Linux experience and knowledge, go to learn.savvynick.com now and get access to these sheets.